In this Blender video, I'm going to give you five tips for using Eevee. Eevee is a render engine included with Blender version 2.8 that renders very quickly and produces great results. As an example, here is an image rendered with Cycles, and here is the same image rendered with Eevee. The image rendered with Cycles took my computer 2 minutes and 37 seconds to render. The same image rendered with Eevee took only 13 seconds to render. With Blender 2.8, you can use either Eevee or Cycles for your final render. Which one you use will depend on your specific needs. In my experience so far, Cycles generally produced a higher level of realism, but it came at the cost of significantly longer render times. Eevee, on the other hand, still produced great results, and it did so very quickly. So if, for example, you're making an animation, Eevee could save you a lot of render time. In addition to using Eevee to produce final renders, it can also be used to view your project in the viewport while you're creating it. And the nice thing is, it updates in real time. To get you started with Eevee, I'm going to give you five tips that I think you should know. For this video, I'm using Blender version 2.8 beta. You can find the exact version in the video description. Since this is a beta version of Blender, you should be aware that some of the things that I'll be showing might change. The first tip is about displaying reflections. I'm going to start by changing the viewport display to rendered. The render engine is currently set to cycles. This scene has a sphere with a glossy material and a point light source. You can see the reflection of the floor in the sphere. Now I'll switch to the EV render engine. Now the first thing that you might notice is that you don't see the reflection of the floor in the sphere. So tip one is to add a check mark next to screen space reflections. Now the reflection of the floor can be seen. If you look at the edges of the lines in the reflection, you'll notice that they could be smoother. To make them smoother, open the screen space reflections section. If you remove the check mark that's next to half res trace, then it will be smoother. The second tip is about using light sources. If you're using Eevee in the viewport while you're working on your project, and you want to use cycles for the final render, then you'll want the lighting for both render engines to be similar. However, when you change the intensity of a light source while using Eevee, it will not change the intensity for cycles. The opposite is also true. When you change the intensity in cycles, it will not change the intensity for Eevee. So tip number two is to set up the light intensity for both Eevee and cycles. To see how this works, I'll decrease the lamp energy from 50 to 5, and you can see that the scene gets darker. Now I'll switch to Cycles, and you'll notice that the scene is bright again. Now I'll decrease the intensity while in Cycles. I'll decrease the lamp strength from 5000 to 500. Now the scene is darker, and it more closely matches the brightness in Eevee. When I changed the intensity, there are two things that you might have noticed. The first is the units. I'm decreasing the value from 5000 to 500. When Eevee was selected, I decreased it from 50 to 5. The second thing that you might have noticed is that when using cycles, the value that I decreased was called strength. When Eevee was selected, it was called energy. I'm going to set the strength back to 5000. Even though you need to set the intensity of the lamp separately in Eevee and cycles, the same is not true for the size of the lamp. It's currently set to 3, and you can see the size of its reflection in the sphere. Now I'll decrease the size to 0.5, and you can see that the size of its reflection in the sphere is now smaller. Next I'll switch to Eevee, and you can see that the size of the reflection is still small. Also, in Eevee, the size is called radius. I'm going to set the radius back to 3, and the energy back to 50. With these settings, the brightness of the scene in Cycles and in Eevee both look similar. The third tip concerns emission shaders. Emission shaders work differently in Eevee as compared with Cycles. To demonstrate this, I'll add a mesh plane and point it toward the sphere. Then I'll add an emission shader and I'll set the strength to 10. 
Next, to see the influence of the emission shader, I'll hide the point lamp light source and also I'll set the background color to black. As can be seen while using Eevee, the plane is visible as well as a partial reflection of the plane in the sphere. Now I'll switch to Cycles. In Cycles, the plane illuminates the floor and the sphere. So the third tip is that you may want to avoid emission shaders if EV is being used. The fourth tip concerns soft shadows. In Cycles, the softness of the shadows can be controlled by setting the size of the light sources. I'll show you how this works. Currently, the shadow of the sphere is soft. Now I'll reduce the size of the light source from 3 to 0 0.1. Now the shadow is sharper. Next I'll switch to Eevee. Notice that the shadow is fairly sharp. Now I'll increase the size of the light source from 0 0.1 back to 3. When I did this, the shadow did not become softer. Eevee can support soft shadows, but it needs to be enabled. So tip number four is to enable soft shadows. To do this, select the render panel and open the shadows section. Then add a check mark next to soft shadows. Now the shadow is softer. Sometimes when you're using Eevee, you may see some unwanted shadow artifacts. There are some here on the left edge of the floor. It's easier to see if I disable soft shadows. To fix this, you can increase the light threshold a little. This is enough. If I were to increase this value too far, then the whole scene starts to darken. Now that it looks good, I'll enable soft shadows again. The fifth tip is for when you are using glass-like materials. I'll start by switching to Cycles, and then unhide a cube and a monkey that I previously added. Both the cube and the monkey are using the principled shader with the transmission value set to 1. You can see through both of these objects. Now I'll switch to Eevee. When I do this, you can no longer see through either of these objects. So tip number five is to enable refractions. To see through these objects like a glass material, I'm going to enable refraction in two different places. So in the screen space reflection section, I'll add a check mark next to refraction. Next, I'll select the monkey, open the material panel, and in the settings section, I'll add a check mark next to Screen Space Refraction. I'll enable this for the cube as well. Now you can see through both of these objects, but there is a limitation. If I rotate the view and look through the cube, you can see the sphere, but not the monkey. I'll switch to Cycles to show you what it should look like. So apparently in Eevee, an object that has refraction enabled cannot be viewed through another object that has refraction enabled. So keep this in mind when using Eevee. I'll switch back to Eevee now. Another limitation is that objects that use screen space refraction will not appear in screen space reflection surfaces. To show this, I'll select the floor and change its roughness to zero to make it reflective. Here you can see the reflection of the sphere in the floor but not the monkey or the cube. Here's what it looks like in Cycles. You can see the reflection of all three objects. Here is Eevee again. If you're using Eevee as your render engine in the viewport during project development and you plan on using Cycles for the final render, then the limitations of Eevee should not be much of a problem. If you're using Eevee for the final render, then you may need to use a little more care when using screen space refractions. But in many cases, the significant improvement that you get in render time with Eevee can make it more than worth it. Here is the scene that I've been working with rendered with both Cycles and Eevee. The render time with Cycles was 1 minute and 21 seconds, and the render time with Eevee was only 5.6 seconds. Well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. 
and please subscribe and leave a comment.